This screencast represents the second part to the sample design analysis homework problem on the calculation of the net positive suction head for a pump and the determination of whether or not cavitation will occur. All of the general problem information is exactly the same as the previous video, except the tank pressure, which is now at negative 20 inches of mercury in vacuum, which will change the calculation of the surface pressure. The calculated values of the vapor pressure, static pressure, suction pressure, piping head loss, and elbow head loss should be exactly the same. The surface pressure unit conversion can be completed via the equation displayed on the right hand side of the screen with the new value. The calculation of NPSHA yields 13.37 feet of water, which is greater than the NPSHR, which represents no cavitation. Moving on to the third and final part of this problem, several important problem parameters have changed. The water temperature has increased to 180 degrees Fahrenheit, the vapor pressure has now changed, and the specific gravity has changed from 1.0 to 0 0.97. The specific gravity was inherent in the calculation of both the surface pressure and the suction pressure. However, the values for static pressure and the losses via the piping and elbow should not change from the previous problem. Input the new values for the temperature, the vapor pressure, and the specific gravity. After these changes have been made, we can see that the NPSHA is less than the NPSHR, and therefore cavitation will occur. For more sample design analysis homework problems, please visit the Lafayette CHBE YouTube channel.